the symbolism of the scorpion. The Scorpio constellation. Although the scorpion can be used as a symbol for the Kundalini experience, the sting in the tail, most of the symbolism is shared with the constellation of Scorpio. Constellations were used to teach those who could neither read nor write about spiritual truths, symbols, concepts and activities. And Scorpio is about testing and death. The Scorpions Sting Scorpions and snakes most often bite the heel, regarded as the foundation stone of the human being because of their upright stance. Once the heel is affected, the person falls down. So from this a number of additional symbols result. In astrology, a sacred heel is that part of the sun or moon that at setting touches the horizon. And in myth and legend, an Achilles heel is a weakness, in spite of overall strength, which can lead to downfall or death. In Greek mythology, when Achilles was a baby, it was foretold that he would die young. To prevent his death, his mother Thetis took Achilles to the river Styx, which was supposed to offer immortality, and dipped his little body into the water. However, as Thetis held Achilles by the heel, his heel was not washed over by the water of the magical river. Achilles was said to have eventually died from a wound to his heel during the Trojan Wars the result of an arrow shot by Paris. Finding the weakness in ideas. There are two quite distinct roles that people take in the theatre of life, both of which are exceptionally important. William Blake categorised them by calling the types the prolifics or the devourers. Prolifics create, devourers basically use what has been created. The devourers use the work of the prolifics and effectively destruction test it. They look for the weaknesses in ideas. They may not be very discriminatory. They may cause the prolific person considerable heartache. Their judgment may not always be sound. And who is to judge this anyway? But they are a necessary part of the process, as they are the first stage of testing a new creation. They are also the spur to creativity. They give the prolific person a customer, a reason for co-creating. The rule is thus not, is it a good idea? Or in the prolific person's opinion, is it a brilliant creation? but is it accepted by the devourers? Finding the weakness in evolutionary change. The same sort of barrage of painful destructive testing occurs in any sort of natural evolutionary change. The apparent cruelty of nature simply hides the fact that all creations are continually tested often painfully, to see if they survive as a design. Scorpions in the wild A scorpion in the wild only stings to defend itself. It is normally a timid creature. As such, the symbolism only holds good for the sting itself, which is exceptionally painful and in some cases can kill. Thank you.
testing on the spiritual path. The final form of testing which can take place occurs for those on the spiritual path. You will see in the picture that there are tests in the early stages, day two symbolically, and day four, where they can be so bad they provoke a rebirth. All this testing aims to make sure you are dedicated enough to continue. The test can be painful and the judgment severe. The greater the responsibility, the more painful, humiliating and debilitating the test can be. But whereas the test may cause pain and simply deter those without the will to succeed, those people are saved the far greater pain they may experience if they continue. Some even die.